the issues with any high tunnel or greenhouse growing is salt buildup uh, and nutrient leaching issues. Now, whenever you have an enclosed space, the, obviously the soil is going to be uh, protected from the elements and uh, the normal outdoor growing conditions. So you can get issues with the soil if it's not managed properly. Uh, for instance, having good compost and uh, good watering practices, um, you know, getting away from sort of the industrial chemical approach to, to growing, uh, you are able to maintain a much healthier soil and you don't typically run into those problems. Uh, you know, some very minor issues here is just some sort of salt buildups that we have on the, the surface of the soil here. One of the easiest methods to deal with that if you have a stationary tunnel is irrigation. You, ha you could have an overhead irrigation system that would flood the whole uh, greenhouse, not to the point of, of you know, saturating, just to saturate it, to release a lot of those nutrients out of the soil. Uh, however, if you have a movable tunnel, which this one is, you have the benefit of moving it off of the plot. Here is the tunnel over, it was over the winter, this was the winter plot. And if we look outside, this would be potentially a spring plot. And you can see this uh, area has been snowed on, it's had rain, it, it's had all the benefits of being outside and exposed to those conditions throughout the winter. So this soil is, is in perfect condition to be ready to grow new crops. So this greenhouse would move over that area and then this section would get the cleansing effects of the elements through the whole summer months. And then we have a, a third plot down there where this could potentially be moved over there for the next sequence. So the, that is one of the biggest benefits of, of the movables is you have all that flexibility to be able to move it from one plot to the next without you know, having all those issues of salt buildup and nutrient leaching.